Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem very quickly. Okay, we have 3. 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of negative x equals 6. Okay, so how do we deal with this problem? Um, let's work on this right here. So we have 3 to the power of x plus, because of this negative, we are going to have 1 over 3 to the power of x. So the negative is no longer there. And this is equal to 6. Now what do I do from here? Let us say that, um, okay, let y be equal to 3 to the power of x okay so if that is the case then anywhere i see 3 to the power of x i will write y so here now we're going to have y plus here we have 1 over y and that is equal to 6 we are going to clear out the fraction by multiplying everything by y so we're going to have y times y plus y times 1 over y equals y times 6. Okay, so this means that the LCM is y, okay? And now y times y, that will give y squared, then plus y will cancel itself from here, and we have just 1. And that will be equal to y times 6. That will be 6y. Okay, so now let's arrange this in um, a better way. y squared will come first. Then minus 6y. Because this goes to the other side to become negative. Then we have plus 1. This is equal to 0. Okay, so now we have... um. A quadratic equation because of the square here and the equal sign right now how do we solve this problem let's continue we're going to solve this using um, um the formula method so the formula is y equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 ac everything over 2 times a the next thing is for you to identify your a b and c okay from the quadratic equation our a is 1 so i'm going to write 1 here then our b is minus 6 so write minus 6 and then our c is 1 that is positive 1 Okay, so we're going to put this right into the, the equation, right? Okay, so to do that, we're going to have um, y equals, in place of minus b, we're going to have minus minus 6, and that will turn to positive 6, plus or minus square root of b squared, that will be minus 6 in bracket, squared, then minus 4, times what is my a our a is 1 then our c is also 1 so we multiply this by 1 then we divide all of this by 2 times 1 okay so let's continue from here okay so the y now will be 6 plus or minus we have um Minus 6 squared is 36. Then minus 4 times 1 times um, 1, that will be 4. So we divide this by 2. So if we continue, then y will be 6 plus or minus 36 minus 4 is 32. Then this is divided by 2. Now let's continue so that y will be equal to 6 plus or minus square root of this 32 here is not a perfect square 
but 32 here is the same as 16 multiplied by 2 so we divide by 2 so to go ahead we're going to have y to be equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 16 that will give us some um, 4 so we have 4 then we have root 2 this is divided by 2 so what again do I do 2 here can go into 6 so y will be 2 into 6 is 3 plus or minus 2 into 4 is 2 then we have root 2 mind you this is a 2 in 1 solution so our y is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2 or 3 minus 2 root 2 so this right here are the values of um, y but mind you we were not really looking for the values of y we were rather looking for the values of x in the equation i remember when we say that y is equal to 3 to the power of x so that means that from here now we're going to have 3 to the power of x equal to 3 plus 2 root 2. So if this is the case, what do we do? We introduce log. And if we do that, we're going to have log 3 to the power of x equals log of everything on the right. So we have um, 3 plus 2 root 2. Then we, we lock this. Now the power always goes behind, so we're going to have x log 3 equals log open bracket 3 plus 2 log 2. Okay, there we don't need for us to open this, right? So let's continue. Um, to move ahead, we're going to divide both sides by log 3 so that x will be free. Then divide all of this by log of 3. Now this is going to go with this. So x is now free. Okay, so this right here is the value of... Um, that is the value of x. But mind you, we can change the base here. So we get um, x is equal to log... 3 plus 2 root 2 close this then this 3 here becomes the base okay so this is one of the values of x remember we got two values of y one of the values is 3 plus 2 root 2 now the other value will be 3 plus um, 3 minus 2 root 2 so that means that x again can be um we have log open bracket 3 plus 2 root 2 right okay this is negative sorry one is positive so the other should be negative and this it will still this will still be to the base of 3 so this is the other value of x thank you for watching if you have um watched to this length and you have not subscribed then something is not right subscribe so you can get more of my videos thank you